But one of my favorite things about the Christmas season is of course giving gifts But aside from that, it's also receiving gifts Speaking of gifts, I actually bought myself a gift We're gonna unbox it together I cannot believe I'm holding this in my hands right now And before we actually try out Young Air Wrap I thought why not do a little get ready with me I don't know what I'm doing, wait This is insane Good morning everybody! Today is December 13, 11.55 a.m. And sorry for the way that I look. Actually, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry, but I'm deep out of obviously. Kakatapos ko lang mag-lunch and mag-workout on this beautiful Monday morning. Maliligo na very, very soon. But do you guys feel the Christmas rush? Kasi ako, I feel ko na lahat ng Christmas rush because ang dami ko pang gagawin before Christmas. I'm very, very busy. Dami ko pang iho-host na shows. Ang dami ko pang gagawin before that. But it's a very exciting time. The Christmas rush is definitely part of the holiday season. And the holiday season is never complete without it. But one of my favorite things about the Christmas season is of course giving gifts. But aside from that, it's also receiving gifts. Shepard and man, life is a two-way street. Speaking of gifts, I actually bought myself a gift for all of the hard work that I did this year. I thought, why not treat myself for Christmas? And it finally came today and I'm so, so excited. We're gonna unbox it together because this is something that I've been wanting for probably years now, but I only got around to buying it now because... I don't know, I wanted to buy it for myself. And Chamber, I, I try not to be very impulsive when it comes to big purchases like this. So, for Christmas, I actually got myself the Dyson Airwrap Complete! Oh my god, I'm so happy that I was able to get this. Finally, I've been eyeing this forever. Because I've been seeing so many people talk about how the Dyson Airwrap is the only hair tool you'll ever need. And I'm finally gonna try it out. And as someone who obviously styles her hair, a lot for work. It's something that is definitely worth it and something that I will use a lot. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the newest color of the Dyson Airwrap because the mga nakikita natin before was like the pink one and the pink and gray, but this one is like a blue with a little bit of a bronze, which I really really like. I kind of like it more than the pink, but I'm so excited that I finally got this. This is like a big girl purchase, you know, like Big girl purchase. So we unbox na natin to because kana ang kadin magready. I actually have work today and I'm going to be trying it out as well. So this is actually really heavy. Nagulat nga ako because it's so so heavy. So in preparation for this moment, ang dami kong pinanood na mga videos and how to use it. Because from what I know, there is a learning curve when it comes to the Dyson Airwrap shampoo because it's a little bit different from the traditional hair tools na ginagamit ko. So I use a hair dryer and also a curling one but this one is like two in one it can be a blower it can also be a curling one and also like there are different attachments that we can use ah! oh my gosh i'm so excited you guys so let's open it boom so inside is this box so this is what comes inside the box um it's like a very smooth leather box that is a really good container. I love that everything fits in this. And then when you open it, you have this pad thing. From what I know, you can put the wand on here pag may ina cha, so this comes in handy. And then these are just like instructions on how to use it. And boom! It is that Dyson Air Wrap and all of the attachments that come with it. I cannot believe I'm holding this in my hands right now. Like, I cannot believe I'm holding this. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's quickly go through the attachments ng Dyson Airwrap. So, obviously, we have the wand. So, ito yung parang base where you put all of the attachments. So, I have yet to learn more about how to use this properly. It smells very new. Okay, no, I can't. <laughs> I tried to be, I know, very delicate, but whatever. It's already here. So this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. And it's really like a good grip. You can get a good grip on it. It has all of the settings here. So the on button, the heat control, whatever, and then also the power of the air. So these are the barrels that come with the Dyson Airwrap. And this one, like I'm not a beauty guru, so I don't really know like how many centimeters barrels it's, this is. But from what I know, th these are thicker. These are for obviously bigger, more loose curls. And this one is a little bit tighter. But for me, I think I'm gonna try to use the, this one because my hair is pretty long now. So yeah. And then as you can see, they're like arrows and that's the direction of where the hair will be turning towards. So I thought that was really cool. So these two are the brush attack 
attachments. This one is the firm smoothing brush and then the soft smoothing brush. And then last but not least, we have the round volumizing brush. So these are quite a lot. Oh no, I also missed out. This one is the pre-styling dryer. So this one you can use as a blow dryer now. So there are a lot of attachments. I'm quite scared to try it out because I'm not with the way that I do my hair now. But I'm excited to switch it up. And part of the reason why I really wanted the Dyson Air Wrap is because it uses air to style your hair as opposed to yung mga traditional curling ones na ginagamit ko in the past. They really use heat on your hair which makes it dry, brittle, and all of that. So this one I think will improve the quality of my hair and also the styles that I can do with my hair. But since I do have to get ready for work, I'm going to be trying it out. I'm gonna share my first impressions with all of you, especially because I don't know how to use it just yet. Deep question to try. So we're gonna see how that goes. But for now, maliligo muna ako and I will do my makeup and I will see you guys in a bit. Okay, so nakaligo na ako and all. And honestly guys, my voice is not a vibe right now. So I'm having a little bit of tea. And before we actually try out Young Air Wrap, I thought why not do a little get ready with me. I feel like it's been a long time since I last did a makeup video of sorts. I already prepped my skin. I did all of my like skincare whatever true bahan. So let's get started. The first thing I like to do is of course prime my face with a primer. This is a primer that is a blur smoothing primer that I got from Shopee. It's a really good primer to be honest. And I stopped using primer for a while just because I didn't I feel like I didn't need it but since this event is a little bit long I'm going to need a good primer for today so I'm using this one I'm just putting it on the center of my face because that's where I usually get oily and where my makeup usually goes away first so I'm just massaging that in to my face but honestly if you have a good like skincare prep you won't need a primer that often so yeah after primer, I'm gonna go in with some foundation. This is the Spotlights Cosmetics Foundation in Perfect Nude. I like this foundation because it looks very natural. I'm just gonna put on the back of my hand, hand on the back of my hand. I like this foundation because it looks very natural on the skin, especially when there are harsh lights. So that's the reason why I like this one. And it stays all day. So for this one, I just like to put random dots everywhere. And I'm gonna be using this brush, foundation brush. I just found this on Shopee. I thought it was a really good foundation brush it's very firm and gets the job done really really well so we're just gonna blend that in so yeah and also don't forget like your neck I'm gonna drag a bit but this one matches me pretty well the man so next we're gonna go in with a contour I'm using the Fenty Beauty contour stick in the shade truffle and this has been my go-to contour stick forever and I just like to contour my cheekbones my chin and my nose pero mamaya mamaya na yung ano so I just like to put lines here and then I will just blend it out with a brush and the, the brush I'm gonna be using is the Real Techniques Stippling Brush. This is the best brush for like blending cream stuff so I just like to follow the line and sometimes it helps now you face forward so that you can see what the contour is actually contouring on your face. You want to blend this really well if you want it to look very natural. I like to do this face. Mm -hmm. And then the neck. But yeah, that is it for contour for now. But obviously I have to conceal this. So we're gonna go to concealer now. And I like to use a combo of the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector. And this one will really brighten your under eyes. It's not really a concealer. It's more of a corrector for under your concealer. So this goes first, yung corrector, and then yung concealer. So the concealer I'm using is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Corrector. I mean, concealer in... I have no idea what shade this is. It doesn't even say... Yeah, so I'm using that. It's a really good concealer also because it is so easy to blend and a little goes a long way. So I'm using this corrector under my eyes. As you can see, it's already brightening. It's not a blend. And on top of the corrector, we're going to use some concealer. So for this one, I like to put very little, just like one dot. Here also, my nose, and then here, and then my chin. And you will see why I only put one dot. Okay, then I'm going to get a damp like beauty blender sponge thing and just blend it. See how much one dot has? That's why I don't put a lot of this concealer. Okay, super suited the concealer from L'Oreal. So it really just brightens the under eyes. My under eyes tend to get dry sometimes, so that's why I put very little concealer. And also my nose and my forehead. 
so automatically you can see that my face has brightened up already and the discoloration here is not as much as kanina boom okay now with that we are gonna contour my nose with the cream product so i just like to put a little bit on the side of my nose like that and my nostril then i just use my fingers to blend this out I mean, you can use a brush if you want, but I like to use my fingers so that I can feel the, the natural contours of my nose. And then after that, to just set my under eye area or wherever I put concealer, I like to take a translucent powder. This is from Fenty Beauty. It is the Universal Invisiman Blotting Powder. So I just like to put a little bit on my brush. This is from Real Techniques as well. I don't know the name, not so wrong than that, and I know, but I will try to look for it and just, you know, Make it down below. And I'm just setting it a bit just so it doesn't move throughout the day. It just sets everything on the face. And to further set everything on my face and to make myself look extra dewy, I'm gonna go in with a Happy Skin uh, Fresh Morning Dew Setting Spray. So I like to put this all over my face after we do the base of the face. So, boom. I like to put a generous amount. Para malak in talaga lahat ng nagamit kung product. Next up, we're gonna do eyebrows. Eyebrows. So I like to use the Spotlight Cosmetics Mega Hit Eyebrow Pencil with Spoolie in Classic Black Brown. So I haven't tattooed my eyebrows ever. I haven't even had them threaded in like a few months because I like the natural look these days. I like them to look feathered and bushy. So I'm just gonna comb through my eyebrows and then use the pencil. So yung eyebrows naman, like that really depends on how you like to do your eyebrows. But I will be sharing a trick with all of you in a bit. Let me just do the initial eyebrow fillings. So we're done with the base of my eyebrows. This is not actually what my eyebrows will end up looking like. They look very under right now. Very caterpillar-like, but that's because I'm gonna do something later on. But while I'm waiting for that to like set for now, we're gonna go in with some bronzer. I'm going to be using the Benefit Hula in Caramel. Um, this is like the warmer shade because the original one is a little bit too cool toned for me. I'm morena now, so it's not that obvious when I use it. And this one is a more like tan vibe. So I like to do a three on my face. That's when I, that's how I contour. I think that's the classic thing that they all teach us on YouTube. And then I just want to warm up my face because I ano, may konting dimension, ganyan. And since I already initially contoured a while ago, I won't need a lot of bronzer naman. So yeah, that is the rest of my bronzer. But now, I'm going to contour my nose more. I'm going to use the same shade, the Hula Caramel, to contour my nose. I just like to follow the line na ginawa ko kanina with my contour stick. Once again, it's really just defining your nose, not changing your nose. Now, we are going to continue on with blush. And this is one of my favorite parts of makeup. So the blush I've been using is the Focalore Red Wine Blusher in B02 Sherry. So I got this off Shopee. I will also link it down below. And one of my favorite discoveries from Shopee. It's a liquid blush that looks so, 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 so natural. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the center of my cheeks, the apples of my cheeks. Not too much, and then get my stippling brush and just bring it up just to get a more lifted look and then blend it in. See how natural it looks like? It's like you went to the beach and got a tan. That's really what I always like to go for. I na sa na ako, and then the other side. And then blend. So you have like natural color to your face now, and I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose as well just because i like the drunk blush look um just a little bit though not too much so this is super easily blendable like you can even use your fingers if you don't want to use a brush and then now you guys might be wondering like i thought you were gonna fix your eyebrows but i am so i'm gonna be using eight eyebrow soap this has been one of my best discoveries so far instead of using an eyebrow gel i like to use a eyebrow soap because it makes it look so feathered and so natural. It's better than an eyebrow gel. I just like to run this spoolie all over it. I just get the product and then run it through my brows. 
So this makes it look like even more natural. And Kanina was just for more of like definition before you set it with the eyebrow soap. I swear this has been a game changer for my eyebrows. Wow. My eyebrows look great! And that is my secret to bushy natural eyebrows. We are almost done with our makeup look for today. I'm just going to do my eyelashes and that is it. So did my makeup for today and my hair is still really wet from my shower. So now we're gonna try my new Dyson Airwrap. I have the pre-styling dryer attachment on right now. So I have it on the highest power setting and also the hottest setting as well so that it will dry my hair. And when I, you use the Airwrap though, you have to have like damp hair still when you style it. So we're just gonna blow dry my hair for a bit. So this is the power button. I'm gonna turn it on. Cookie thinks it's a vacuum. <laughs> so yeah, my hair is like I would say 70% dry, so it's still pretty damp. And before I style it, I'm gonna be using a volumizing mousse because I have pretty thin hair, like I don't really have a lot of hair, so I'm gonna use this also so I can lock in the curl. So we do this when it's like major damp then, so it's perfect for the air wrap. So I'm just gonna put this everywhere. Not on my roots though, because uh, you're not supposed to put product in your roots from what I know. Now I'm gonna try the firm smoothing brush. There was this girl who used it before she curled her hair and yung hair niya so ganda. So I'm gonna try to use this. Okay, I just wanted to try that so that my hair isn't unruly when I try to curl it. And so far, I really love how it's not too Like with, with my problem with other hair dryers is that it's really hot and I start to sweat when I use them. So this one is doing pretty well. I'm gonna section my hair off so that it's easier for me to pick hair. So I usually do three parts. So I'm gonna do the bottom layer first. I'm just gonna tie it, and then we're gonna start with this hair. So as you can see, my hair ko, that's why I want to use the big barrel. So we're gonna try that. So I think I'm gonna be using this one, which is the bigger barrel with the outside arrows. Oh my god, wish me luck guys. I'm really scared. I don't know how to use this yet. Like this is my first time trying it and I don't know what to, what to expect. So they said to section off your hair, get like a good section of hair, which is what I usually do in a man, and then turn it on on the highest heat setting. And then have the barrel behind and then wait for it to Oh wait. Oh no, I'm scared. Wait, no. So they've said put the barrel behind and hold it here and then wait for the hair to like clip onto the actual thing. Oh. I don't know what I'm doing, wait. Did that work? It's working. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. And then they said to set with the cold air. <gasps> oh my god, I did it! I did it! <laughs> I did it, oh my gosh. Okay, good attempt, good attempt. But I think I should make it higher, I think. So we're gonna try to do it more. I did it. I don't know how I'm liking it so far though because it's medio still curly. So let us do everything else. Um, but they said that when you use this, you have to keep it straight. You can't like bend it with other curling wands that I do. I usually bend them, right? But this one, you have to keep it straight now. So <laughs> I'm really happy though that I was just able to do it so far. Like I'm very proud of myself for that. So let's do the rest of my head with this.
Okay, so I'm done curling all of my hair, but I'm gonna put a little bit of hairspray. Just a little bit. And like, squeeze it. And wait a bit before I like, comb it out. But can I just say, this is insane. Of all of the times I've curled my hair, like all of the years I've curled my hair, I've never gotten this kind of volume. Like curling my hair, this is so crazy like it looks so good i don't know if you guys can see it because like it's a little bit dark but i will show you guys in a bit i'm just gonna wait for it to like set a bit but my thing is i'm wondering if it's going to last long we shall see but there is a bit of a learning curve when it comes to trying out the air wrap because i feel like you you're not used to curling your hair in general feeling ko baka mahirapan kayo at first like me the hard part is trying to get your hair to be sucked in to the barrel thing but when after that it's just pretty easy you just have to do this and then hold and then set it with a cooling option oh my god my hair looks amazing and so volumized so i'm just gonna comb through it it's a little bit gloomy today i don't know why i don't know if it's gonna rain but look at my hair you guys i think for the first time on the air app i think i did really really well and i love that it's very volumized and natural looking because i think the thing that i had with normal curling wands is that i had such a hard time making my hair look volumized it always looked flat when i did it but with this it looks so natural but so bouncy and so alive so i love it so much but i want to see if it's going to be lasting all day because when I use a normal curling one it lasts all day literally from 9 to 6 p.m. I still have curls in my hair so with this one medyo mababa na yung curls so I want to see if it's actually going to be lasting all day especially in this weather it's a little bit humid and a little bit hot and sticky so I want to see if it's actually going to last all day but so far so good like I there is a little bit of a learning curve I still have to get used to it but I really love how it turned out I'm so happy